plan for April. Just kidding, March. <laughs> Um, so on the first, second, and third, Matt and Connor were not here because they had a, um, a camp out with their Cub Scout, um, like troop or pack or whatever. And so they weren't here. So, um, I didn't have meals planned for those days, but on Sunday, which is the fourth, we're having chicken drums. We'll just have those on the grill. The next day we're going to have burrito bowls. The, uh, following, let's see, what is that? A Tuesday, we're going to have grilled cheeseburgers. Wednesday, we're going to have chicken strip wraps. Thursday, we're going to have tacos. Friday, we're going to have pizza with salad. Saturday, we're going to have sloppy joes. And Sunday, we're going to have chicken quesadillas. And most of these meals, I have um, like what's for dinner uh, meal plans on. Or not meal plans, but what's for dinner videos. So you can kind of see how we prepare those. Um, Monday, the 12th, we're going to have crock pot lasagna, which I haven't made in a while, but it makes a really big batch. So we're going to have leftovers for the following day. The 14th, which is a Wednesday, we're going to have Philly cheesesteak sliders, which those are super awesome. And we haven't had those in a little while. Uh, the following day, which is a Thursday, we're going to eat out. Friday, we're going to have pizza with salad. Saturday, we're going to have grilled cheeseburgers again. And then Sunday, we're going to have honey garlic chicken with chicken um, alfredo pasta. Well, not chicken alfredo, but just uh, alfredo pasta on the side to go with it. And then the following Monday, we're going to have chicken spaghetti. Tuesday, we're going to have Salisbury steak. And then Wednesday, um, we're going to have leftovers because the chicken spaghetti and the Salisbury steak should make um, like some pretty big batches. So I figured we will just kind of keep that in the fridge until that Wednesday and then we'll have leftovers. Thursday, we're just going to have tacos, just real simple. Friday, we're going to have hot dogs. Wednesday, or sorry, Saturday, we're going to have wings. Sunday, we're going to have chicken enchiladas. I just use um, like onions and jalapenos and saute that with some, um, you know, shredded chicken and cheese and just make enchiladas from that. Monday, we're going to have breakfast burritos. Tuesday, we're going to have grilled cheeseburgers again. I've really been feeling those. Those are super good. Um, Wednesday, we're going to have chicken drums. Thursday, we're going to eat out again. As you can see, we're only eating out twice this month. We're trying to cut back on that. Uh, Friday, we're going to have Frito Pie wraps. And then Saturday, we're going to have hot dogs again. So that is the meal plan for the entire month. And now let me show you the groceries. Okay, starting off with the produce over here, we got some celery and then two bags of apples. Uh, one bag I'm going to make into applesauce for some baby food for the twins. And then the other bag is just for us to snack on. Uh, kind of the same thing with the bananas right here. Half of it's for baby food and the other half is just for us. Um, typically the twins, every morning I take one banana and I smush it up and uh, they'll have that for breakfast. Uh, if it's not that, it's, you know, some applesauce. Also got some avocado. Again, same thing. Baby food. Uh, some carrots. Baby food. I'm going to, you know, seam this and uh, blend it up and uh, freeze it. Also got some onions, that's just for recipes. Also got some carrots for our salads, which I buy the pre-shredded um, bag. It's not very expensive at all. And uh, we have salad all the time, so it's just real easy to grab um, you know, a handful of this and uh, add it to our salads. Also got some green beans. I'm going to make baby food out of that. The twins haven't had the green beans yet, so that's next on the list. Also got a whole bunch of tater tots because we love tater tots and that goes with several um, you know, meals for sides. Also got some onion rings. I typically buy my onion rings at Costco, but like the last three times I've gone, they don't have them anymore. So I don't know if they're not carrying them or if they just kind of rotate through that kind of thing. But oh yeah, I had to go back to Walmart to get those. Also got some green onions. That's for a bunch of different stuff, uh, mainly baked potatoes. I love the green onions and baked potatoes. So got some cilantro and some lime juice. That is for the cilantro lime rice that I make for our burrito bowls. I got some white bread. I got some wheat bread at Costco, so I also wanted some white bread as well as some hamburger buns and uh, hot dog buns. This is some onion um, like soup mix that is for, um, it's, let's see, Salisbury steak casserole. <laughs> so it called for um, a packet of that. Back here I got some canned goods. So we got some sandwich mix for some sloppy joes, some pinto beans for like the um, burrito bowls and just to have an extra, we always use pinto beans and something. Um, some Rotel. And I didn't mean to get the uh, family size portion of the cream of celery. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but maybe I accidentally clicked on that. I just need like a regular size for the chicken spaghetti. But um, I mean, it's better to have too much than not enough. Also got some French onion soup. That is for the uh, Salisbury steak casserole. And then some cream of mushroom soup. That is for the um, uh, chicken spaghetti. That's right. And I also got some pasta. This is for the chicken spaghetti. And then um, some lasagna for crock pot lasagna. And then fettuccine for some Alfredo, uh, chicken Alfredo. Also got some ketchup because we needed that. 
And then uh, two taco kits. Well, it's just the taco shells actually because we have tacos twice on the menu this month. Over here, I got two jars of spaghetti sauce. That is for the crock pot lasagna. And um, I just got the great value brand. Like that's what I ordered, but I guess they were out. So they substituted the uh, Prego brand and you know, they don't charge you whenever they substitute an item. So that's kind of awesome. Um, also got some more hamburger um, like pickles. We, we use these on hamburgers, obviously sandwiches, just all sorts of stuff. Uh, back here, I <laughs> got some more of our hot and spicy chicken bowls. I think, what I get? Five, five, six of them? Um, again, this is for a whole month worth, worth of groceries, so we have those for lunch sometimes. Uh, over here, I just got a jar of Alfredo sauce, and I think that's everything on this table. And over here, I got five containers of formula. The twins have just been, oh my goodness, eating so much. Um, they This used to last at least like one a week, but uh, now it's like one every four or five days. So this is a hundred dollars in formula. My goodness. Uh, over here we got some coffee. We didn't really need coffee, but um, it's kind of one of those things that like mid month we would run out because I did get a huge box of coffee. Um, I think last month maybe. And so we still have quite a bit from that, but at some point we'll run out and it was on sale again. So I just went ahead and got that over here. We got some frozen pizza. I've mentioned this before. We love the red Baron brick oven pizza. We'll have that with like a salad. And typically what I've been trying to pull off, but it hasn't been working is I would make a pizza and then a salad, but one pizza for Matt, Connor and myself, it's just really not enough. Um, even though I would try to fill up on salad also, it's just everybody wants more than two, two slices, you know? So, um, I also got these, uh, Totino's, uh, pizzas because Connor really likes these. So I figured I could just make this pizza for Matt and I. And then one of these for Connor and it's plenty of, plenty of food for everybody. Over here we got some eggs, which I've been getting them at Costco, but uh, when we were at Costco uh, the other day, they were kind of expensive for their eggs. It was 24 eggs for almost $4. So I thought that was really expensive. So um, I didn't get them there and instead I just ordered them online from Walmart. Also got some crescent rolls. Um, here are some of the non-food items. We needed some uh, freezer bags <laughs> and there's the twins and some more laundry soap. Technically, we didn't need any laundry soap, but that's just kind of one of those things that I don't want to run out of. So I'd rather just buy it and just have it on a shelf in the laundry room. Uh, so I got that. And um, I had just recently switched over to the Great Value brand, which is like the copycat of the Gain for their uh, washing detergent. I really like it. Um, I kind of wish I would have been buying this all the time because um, it's awesome. So got some contact solution. So there's that. And then a whole bunch of cheese. So uh, the Monterey Jack. Cheese is for burrito bowls. It's for, um, gosh, what else? Chicken quesadillas, um, just all sorts of stuff. Mozzarella cheese is for the crock pot lasagna. Uh, sliced cheese is for sandwiches. Um, just a regular mild cheddar cheese is for tacos. It's for um, everything, really. And then some Parmesan cheese that's also for the crock pot lasagna. Um, so I got some um, bricotta cheese for the crock pot crock pot lasagna and then some sour cream kind of for everything we've got some more milk uh just two percent milk and then my favorite coffee creamer in the whole world is international delight um chocolate and caramel so good um they sell it now in like the big jug they don't always have it but um i got that and then over here is the meat. So we got some bacon. Uh, this is mostly for like baked potatoes. Uh, the chorizo is for like breakfast tacos. And then um, I got some ground beef. So in April, I have a big order from Zacon Fresh of um, their ground beef, which I'm really excited about because it's a lot cheaper than I've been paying um, at the grocery store. I was buying it at Costco, but the issue that I have with the ground beef there, and this is just like a silly problem to have, but um, it comes in three separate like sealed, um, you know portions like every portion is like 1.3 pounds or something like that And I don't know about you guys, but I cook in one to two pound increments. I never cook in 1.374 pound, you know increments So um, I'm not gonna be buying the ground beef from Costco anymore Especially since I'm getting my order from Zacon fresh. So this month instead of getting it from Costco I just got it at Walmart just the extra lean ground beef uh, Just kind of you know standard stuff as well as some um, sirloin Philly steak that is for the Philly cheesesteak sliders. So that is it for this grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.